a benefit of being able to move the chestnuts down here is just the individual rooms and having the small groups. We have set up rooms where each teacher has their own space, so there will be times when they can be all together in a little, in, in big spaces, but they can be only separated in the small spaces during rest time, during snack time, which will make for a nice, calm, environment for the children as they eat and get ready to take naps. As you look around these rooms, what you'll see is a very natural environment because of course with the Reggio approach, the environment is very important. We spend a lot of time outside, so we want the inside and outside to be very similar. If you look around the room, you can see things that are in natural tones. We don't have a lot of clutter in rooms. We want the children to decorate the rooms. We want the children to be the most important pieces of this environment. Our art program with, with Rachel Schwartzman is environmentally based. And one of the things that she does frequently with the children is taking them outside to gather pieces of nature. And as you can see here, they have all different things that they have been working hard to gather. Nuts, seeds, sticks, even orange peels. And here is our art room that the children, the chestnuts have been using, which also the laurels and the rest of the groups will be introduced to shortly. But as you can see, again, in Reggio, paint and clay especially are the most important aspects of this program. Anything that um, they can experience themselves. One of the things they've been doing is experiencing with making their own colors. And if you look around, you can see that they have made all different colors and they've named them. They've named their favorite colors. So one of the things that they love doing and just giggle at is seeing what their experiments turn into as they paint.